Hey guys, Red Bro is here. Today we are gonna do practical on dictionary attack. So, without wasting any more time, let's thank you for your mind. This video is only for an educational purposes. First of all, I want to mention one thing that we are not doing anything illegal here. This website is for educational purposes, means we have the permission to practice our ethical hacking skills here. Okay. Before starting the practical, I want to mention my previous video in which I talked about types of password attacks. If you haven't watched yet, then I recommend you guys to watch that video first by clicking on, on the info tag above or you can go into the description below. Okay. So after watching that video, you can carry on this video. So let's start the practical. In ethical hacking, our first step is to gather information. Okay. So let's suppose, let's suppose you want to attack or create the password of someone, right? And you have already your account on that website. Now you can check the behavior of that website that what will happen when you uh, write wrong password or right password on that website so that you can identify when you will try to crack the password of victims, okay? Now let's suppose this username and password is yours okay and this username and password can be used as a testing purpose okay to check the behavior of that website so let me write the username first and then let me write the wrong password here so that i can verify or i can identify what will happen if i put the wrong credentials okay so let me log in now you can see nothing happened here right some website can give you 404 error http status code 404 website not found okay web page not found sorry or some website can give you a message that your password is incorrect right but this website is nothing is not doing anything right so we can we can check the content of the web page to verify is our password is wrong or right okay so so let me write the correct password test and then test login here now you can see that if i am putting correct password then the content of the web page is changing right and if i am putting wrong password then the content of the website uh, web page is not changing right this factor can be used by us to compare that is our password is wrong or right now you can see here user info.php okay this is the main page where we have to go after putting correct credentials right so let me log out test and then you can see let me go here again sign up window so it might take some time so now you can see here login.php okay this is the login page and the main page where we have to go now which is user info.php let me write directly user info.php now let me see what will happen here wow now i got some point that if i am typing user info.php and if i am not logging here then it will redirect me on the login page right so we can use that factor too means i can send directly my credential to user info.php why because let me uh, ask you one question if i am putting a password and username here then i am getting the content on another page right but i want that I have to put uh, content on one web page and that web page should should give me the response okay I can I can use a single page as a response request cycle HTTP cycle means I am sending a request uh, on that web page and that web page is giving me a request right uh, if I am not using user info.php let me let's suppose if I am using login.php then I am giving request to one web page and getting a re response from another web page. That might be troublesome for me, or you can say hard for me to handle request from two web pages, right? So I will use user info.php and I will send request on user info.php and I will get response from that web page. Okay. Now 
let's come on to the next point which is how can we give our input using python okay we have to give username and password right first of all right click over here and then click inspect okay let's inspect that web page now let me check the name of input box okay you name right and you can see the name of input box of password pass okay keep these names in your mind you name and pass we will use it in python so let's come on to the coding part import request module okay i already talked about request module we will uh, use it to handle our data packets or http request responses okay right i already used this module in my previous video in which i talked about how to download multiple files from internet you can watch this video by clicking on info tag or the or in the description below okay so first of all i have to get the content of this web page by using http get request right http get request so let me write get and then url of that website sorry i won't use this i won't use this url i will use url for user info.php right so user info.php and then i am getting a content or you can say login page right login page and then let me check the length of the content i am not getting the html text i don't want to deal with html tag i only want length of the text right so let me print the length of the text login page text okay so let me run this program over here so that you guys can easily watch what am i doing here brute force okay now let me check that what is happening here now now you can check 5523 is the length of the content of that web page right now let me give the input on that web page so what will i do i will do post request okay get request means we are getting the content from a web page and post request means we are putting or we are sending the data uh, on to that url okay so request dot post okay let me first write a dictionary okay D data is equals to now I said you guys that keep in mind the name of that input boxes okay you name uh, colon what will be the you name test username okay i want to give that username and then i am giving the name of the password input box and then i'm giving the wrong password okay abc for testing purpose now let me let me do one thing let me create a url variable in which i can easily copy the url over here and then paste it here now url okay now i can easily use that variable over here and then data is equals to data okay so now i am getting the response of that uh, request and then i can print it over here let me copy this and then response over here okay so now let me show you one thing that if i am giving wrong credentials then the content of the web page is same okay now if i am giving the right credentials okay let me save it here now amazing i think you got my point guys i i i said guys that we can compare the length of the content of web page to check whether our password is wrong or correct okay so now you can see here original uh, length of web page and the web page when we give the correct credentials right that's all testing from our side means we are testing on our account now we have to do dictionary attack dictionary attack if you haven't watched my previous video then i recommend you guys go over here then i recommend you guys that go over there and watch that video first then you can easily understand what we will what we will do in dictionary attack so let's create a code for dictionary attack first of all i have to download dictionary I'm downloading a list of 100 common use password 
to keep this video a little bit shorter uh, because it might take a long time okay so let me copy all of the passwords so that i can try all of this password automatically means i want to create an automated program to check each and every password over here right i don't want to do i don't want to do it manually by typing each and every password by myself to do this task by python okay so let me show you one more thing guys can you see here that why it is giving an extra character this is called new line character means backslash n okay this is a special character which is used for uh, putting new line okay so i will discuss it when i will write the code let me copy all of this password uh, in this text i copied all of these passwords in this text file so that i can use this file to check each password by inputting it into the login page okay so let's come on to the coding part so let me create a variable by the name org so that i can easily retrieve the original length of the web page okay so i created this variable and then i am opening a file with open so that i can iterate to each password okay pass.txt and let me open this file in read mode as f now now the main part is that now we have to iterate through each word right and we also have to remove that new line character right so let's create a for loop to get each words from the line of that file f dot read lines is a method to get each word okay now i have to replace let me use that function replace new line character with a no character null character or you can say nothing okay so that's all now i have to use that word let me let me do this password okay password and then i have to use that password in a data packet let now now let me give a variable and then sending each request as well as checking the length of the response okay with the password text okay so let me run this program now you can see here i started this program and i hope now it is giving 5523 root 5523 and whatever you can see the same content length over here okay let okay program is running now so till now i am doing some modification over here or is not equals to let me do one thing or is not equals to response dot text uh, and close it in length okay now i am comparing that if the original length is not equals to the length of the response text then it should show me the password as well as the response of the uh, length of the response text okay so let me save this program and check that output okay now you can see here let me find test okay now you can see here 5523 and 6044 all the response all the length of the response text is same but the difference is here in the test right so i can modify this brute force.py program a little bit more and then now i can run and it will show me only the right output in which i find the correct password right now i hope this video might be helpful for you guys and sorry for my english conversation i am practicing the question maybe rises that if dictionary attack is successful then why we can't hack anyone's or crack anyone's account because now you can see that some website has captcha set up in their login page right that's what captcha prevent us to do automatic tasks okay to prevent 
their login page from brute forcing